Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and today I am going to show you a tutorial on how to do some dynamics. Um, I decided to use a little theme today. Fourth of July is just around the corner and if anybody knows anything about the Fourth of July for America is that that's the time we uh, celebrate our independence. So I thought it might be a little fun to give this tutorial a little theme. Well, uh, we're very big about our flags here in America, so let's go ahead and make a, uh, a flag flap around here. So let's go ahead and I'll show you a little bit of um, end cloth. I'm going to select my flag and under effects, I'm going to go under end cloth and create end cloth. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit more time. And actually I'm going to give myself a little bit more time than that, about 400 frames. And there it goes. So you can see that it's falling rather quickly. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to make sure that my play speed is um, play every frame. That's exactly right. I need to make sure that the dynamics are run that way. And the second thing is to make sure that it's actually attached to a pole. So I'm going to select this pole here. I'm going to go and create it as a passive collider. Now that that's not going to do anything, but uh, what we want to do is actually attach these vertices here to our pole. Right, so I want you guys to select those two top vertices, two bottom vertices, and then select the pole. Go to end constraint, and you want to go to point to surface. So what that's going to do is rewind, play, and you can see the cloth falling. Awesome. It works. But it's kind of lame. Looks like it's, uh, you know, flapping around. So what we want to do is give it a little wind. So go ahead and select your um, the cloth. All right, so under dynamic properties, you're going to scroll all the way down to local force, and then you can just go to wind. Anytime you see three things, it's X, Y, and Z. So we can try X, press 1, maybe 5. There you go. Can you see how it's flapping over there? Maybe a little bit stronger. We can go to 10. Maybe I'll rotate my camera so we can see what's going on here. And there you go, you're never going to have to animate a flag ever again. Alright, so that's a quick way of creating a flag. The next thing I wanted to show you was how to create um, a field of grass. So here I have my geometry. This is actually under the visor, so I'm going to go under Windows, uh, General Editor, Visor. Okay, under the visor we have a lot of great things, uh, if you ever want to mess around with it. But what I'm looking for is grasses and there's a tons of grass here you can just pick anything that you want okay now that we have um, our visor up the next thing we need to do is make this paintable we're going to go under modeling we're going to go under generate and right here it's called make paintable so select that select the grass and then you can start painting on the geometry itself so there's a great way of quickly creating grass just kind of go crazy here with all the grass that you want. You can put different types of grass. And if you like, you can maybe, I don't know, let's grab a um, grass bent and just stick some in here too, just little patches here and there. After all, grass is not even. I'm gonna maybe put a shader on this um, geometry so it doesn't look so gray. So I'm gonna grab a Lambert and just pick a color, something dark green. Probably desaturate a little bit. All right, and then when we render, it looks something like this. All right, next, assign a uh, texture to this. I'm going, it can't, doesn't look right without some sort of flag, so let's go ahead, assign new material. I'm gonna select uh, a Lambert. I'm gonna call this our flag texture. Click on the little output, click on the little file, click on the folder, let's grab the American flag, press the number 6 to see the texture, and whoa, it's upside down. So let me rewind that. <laughs> That's not very patriotic. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, flip that. Grab my uh, Windows UV texture editor, the UVs, planar mapping options, I'm going to choose uh, X looks good, apply. All right, that's better. <laughs> All right, I'm going to select this. I'm going to go ahead and flip it, and there we go. The stripes, 50 stars and 13 stripes, 50 states, 13 original colonies, just in case you didn't know. All right, so now that I have that, let's add some fireworks. This is going to be under effects. We're going to go under effects, and right here, I click some fireworks, 
and it automatically makes them for you which is actually pretty sweet because there's not much you have to do so you just have to press play and there they go I can stop you can see the dynamics are already there I can render this out and you can't get any more patriotic than uh, an American flag waving in the wind all right guys I hope that was helpful um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel you know by all means share uh, be safe 4th of July weekend I'm going camping and uh, have a wonderful holiday thank you and I will see you next time